Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday, and that means we are using Yebel Fire Kings. And it might be the last time that we use Yebel Fire Kings on Thursdays. Uh, I'm ending the, you know, the loading tomorrow, being Friday. So, you know, you guys gotta go ahead and get your comments in. You know, I mean, it's possible if enough of you guys want to. You guys can say Yebel Fire Kings, but so far it seems like this one's gonna be the one to go off. And you know what, I can understand. You know, it, in the beginning, you know, the the idea was, you know, pure. I, it was one of the key reasons why I put it on this series is because uh, one of my uh, friends, who also plays u uh played a u Fire King, and I thought that I'd be missed if I didn't put a u Fire King on uh, Vibe and Y, but, you know, as the time progressed, it kind of turned into more of a of a, of a Fire King deck, if anything, and that Ebel was kind of getting away. I mean, just like this hand. I mean, if I didn't draw the Grunix, then of course I would have went with the Ebel play, but, you know, now since I have the Grunix, then what's the point, you know? And, once, and that's the thing, you know, once you get started with Grunix, what's the point of going with the Ebel plays when you got frickin' Grunix? Uh, so, I understand where you guys are coming from with taking this off of, off of, uh, off of I'm and Y. But don't worry, don't worry. The deck that will be replacing it will definitely be one that you guys will enjoy. I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Oop. Fact. I guarantee it. So we're going against Crystal Beast. Look at this guy's rating. He has a pretty high rating for a person who's using Crick and Crystal Beast. You're cute, you're cute. You really thought that was I was gonna allow that to go through? Look, 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 man. I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. But you will fire king is the best deck of all time. No, it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hit you for sixteen. Perfect. We'll go ahead and get my tankai. So let's see so so far we have not used the about and that's the thing. It's a, you know, at first my my heart was pure with the deck, you know, it ran it ran the limit versus ran the Armageddon nice, but in the end those cards just got in the way. And then with the the hitting of uh uh rekindling definitely didn't help because I wasn't playing the rekindling. But then when I went down to one I was like, you know what? Might as well. I mean it's only at one. I mean so far I have not used it since I since I, you know, put it at one. But uh you know, so far, I, I, the only reason why I put it, I changed it around, because it was, it was running, um, stuff like, uh, what am I, what am I trying to say, it was running stuff like, uh, the baby Grunix to help with consistency, but as soon as that tanky went down to, I mean, that tanky, I mean, that tanky, rekindling went down to one, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and, uh, put the, put the doggies back. And they're 200 defense, and like I said, I, I just haven't, it's sitting right here, but, so far, I haven't got it. And as you can see, the only thing that's in U Bell related is two U Bell, I mean, three U first forms, one Terra, one Ultimate. The Tanky, I mean, the, the Limit Reverts were taken out because there's no other target for that. Um, and pretty much, I feel like I feel like I'm using a freaking uh, a Fire King deck. And you guys come here to see U Bell, not to see Fire Kings. You know, if we go ahead and do the Terror Phoenix combo, then that's uh, probably the only redeeming combo. But lately, I've been haven't been able to pull it off as much. So, yeah. So I apologize. Like I said, I me personally, if you want my personal opinion, I would vote for this deck. Every other Ubel deck has at least something to do with Ubel. This one's the only one. We we'll get a rematch in. This one's the only one. Uh, you see, I say I cut out the whole, you know, siding process, you know? Because, like I said, if this deck is out, then you'll obviously see a deck profile, you know, next Thursday. So, you don't have to worry about that. This end is not that good. <laughs> if you are Yaksha. Uh, but, like I said, the duels are more fun when there's not a lot of back row so far. I don't think he's played on me as Compulse, so... Mm -hmm. You can place one Crystal Beast card from your deck. Okay. 
Why do I need to talk to the one person who's going to control the drone traffic? Top of the deck. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just take the duel slow. I guess I'll go ahead and get bear. Bear throw a chair. Why not? I really don't feel like using the onslaught right now. I'd rather save it. Fat. Hope you have a veiler. I mean, you should. No, I guess not. Yep. I know this deck has to run a hand trap because it really doesn't have, uh... What's it? What's turn you can have the battle damage? During your opponent's turn, you can, including your opponents, you can have the battle damage you take. Alright, so you'll probably do that. Which is fine. In fact, I will go ahead and get me another chair, because why the hell not? So, besides Ultimate Nightmare in my hand so far, this seems like unnecessary plays right now, huh? It seems like unnecessary place. Or this could be, you know, a competitive version of, uh... A competitive version of, um... What am I trying to say? Of uh, Fire Kings, you know, with skill drain and shit like that. You know, generation... I mean, genes, generation shift or whatever it's called. But it's not. And it just happened to be that I'm just dueling against Crystal Beast, which is obviously not a competitive deck, so... At least that's fine. Yeah, I'll take the 200. Draw. Alright. It's starting to get on my nerves, so I'll go ahead and start playing this, but I'm not going to go ahead and summon Runic, so... I'm actually going to summon Sacred Phoenix. Because I would love to wipe all them crystals out of that back row. So what if you have three... Oh, my bad. You could have negated that. Because it says, uh, during either player's turn, when a Feller Trap is activated, you can summon control negate it if you do destroy it. Oh, he could have negated that. My bad. He might beat me just because he has three, but that was my bad. I probably should have let him go, but I don't think he said... He should have been like, wait, hold on. I, I really don't know Crystal Beast, so that's my bad. I apologize. I do not know Crystal Beast like that. And, uh, like I said, I'm gonna die anyway, so I might as well get all the damage I can get in, so. So, what happens when he gets four? During your main phase, you can draw one card. Oh, one additional card. Okay. That's cute. I said I might as well play all my spell and trap cards. I don't want the effect. No effect. There's no point in me wasting a damn tanky. There is no point. Where is, uh... Bark. I guess he doesn't want to send his crystal beast. I guess he wants to just keep them. Alright, so I will go ahead and just end my turn. Go ahead. You gonna use your uh, instant rune effect? Draw an additional card? Oh shit, he's gonna kick the shit out of me. <laughs> like I said, my hand isn't good enough. I wonder if he can game me right here. gonna start exceeding or you're just gonna beat the shit out of me? Just run me over, attack, 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 or what? I don't know what you're gonna do. 
At least you have one so you can block your freaking rainbow rune from being destroyed. Nope, you're gonna see. See into Zen mains? Zen mains, yes. You're still up on resources. I might exit on your ass. No, you want to relay them to as well? 101? Oh, Mist Dweller. Alright. That's cute. My control's not that good right now because just shit's just way too many levels. Utopia. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'll draw eight, but then. Actually, you know what? I think we'll be even. Because Wolf Park is not an egg. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw. Yep. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we're even. So even if I make Exiton, because Exiton's not a fucking egg, it will still be even. Mmm, I might actually get beast by motherfucking crystallized beast. Who the fuck gets beat by motherfucking crystallized beast? Hmm. I mean, I could stall out. I could stall out with uh, Heartland Draco. Probably what I'll do is just stall out with Heartland Draco. Right. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. He kept my bear. Never mind. Never mind. He took my bear. Ah, oh, the struggle. Fine. I'll just activate Foolish then. Fine. I'll just activate Foolish. So, if I bring that back and see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll be down. Alright. Now, effect. Because I wouldn't be able to activate the effect if I didn't have anything. Alright, sure. You just have the fucking answers for everything, don't you? Alright, I'm at defeat. You have the fucking answers to everything. Answers for everything. Uh, we're getting that rematch. Fuck you. He's like, not really. Yeah, you did. Answers for everything. Dweller, the bottomless, everything. You had the answer for every single play that I was even planning on doing. So don't give me that. I'm very tanky. I finally had enough cards to exit on you, and then you're gonna be like, nope, I got the answer for that too. Right ahead. Losing the fucking Crystal Beast. What the fuck? I didn't even lose the Crystal Beast. I lost to his fucking, fucking all the answers. I lost to his Dweller, his Mind Control, his fucking Bottomless. That's what I lost to. I didn't lose the fucking Crystal Beast. They did nothing. I don't give a shit about them. Yu-Gi-Oh! is so much more fun when there's not a lot of fucking shit ton of back row. <sighs> and I saw, and see, and see, the card is limited to one. You got, the, you got more after he got compulsed, he got the bottomless. You see, it's starting to make sen a lot of sense, huh? Your phone, I got an email. Oh. Alright. I 
I'll activate this too. Okay. Sure. Of course, he would have the answer for that as well. I'll just run you over. You got the answer for that as well? Answer for that as well, sure. All the answers again? Sure. Sure. It can be as weenie as it fucking wants to be. So far, it looks pretty impressive, though. This guy is driving me crazy by fucking just one-upping me. Normal summon. On my turn. You'll get destroyed. Pass. I'm just gonna loop you. I'm just gonna loop you. Just gonna loop you. Fuck it. Fuck it! Let's loop it! I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of getting pissed off at Crystal Beast. Who the fuck gets pissed off at Crystal Beast? Tired of it. Tired of it. Hey. You go away. I'll loop it. It's time to get loopy up in this bitch! I'll just poke you for 27 and just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because that's pretty much what fire kings do but not fire king you bell the only thing that you bell has done is be a hindrance in my hand i mean it could have went with yaksha but i always open up with fucking uh grunix so thank god yaksha exists because i'd be drawing a lot of grunixes without yaksha that's the only reason why the deck never did anywhere near as possible is because they never got that yaksha and drew another you bell but no, I don't got any auctions, nor do I really need any auctions. So we can just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So you might as well just quit at this point. Pretty much I got the duel so locked down. Oh, that's going to be interesting, though. You can go ahead and put it back and then make a one-on-one. -on -one. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. I see I see what you're planning now. I see what you're planning. But you see, the problem is, is that I have the answers. Hallelujah. Thank you for all the answers. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> No, we'll just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth back and forth and back and forth because you're going to return one summon him take the 400 summon him make a one on one or something then you're going to try to take me and I'm going to circle out of the way oh no you're just going to crystal bacon mmm bacon mmm bacon and so then you can summon all your crystal beasties back Bacon. <laughs> sure. I mean, this is the most impressive Crystal Beast deck I've ever dueled against, but still no match. Like a one on one. Make a Lightning Chidori. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and change. Sure. Sure. I'll take him on top of the deck. I don't care. I would love to have him back. It's freaking Yaksha. Who wouldn't want to have Yaksha back, right? Sure. I don't care. Draw standby phase. You will come back. Can I only activate one Grunix per turn? No. So they'd both come back. And the other one will destroy the other one. Yep. There we go. That was easy. Alright, so... I didn't know you bell plays. It was only Fire Kings. Like I said, I understand if you guys want to go ahead and give it in this one. But I wanted to give it one more chance to see if you guys want to change your mind. But so far, it's like I'm playing Fire Kings. With you bell just being in the way to tell you the truth. So that's just my personal opinion. But despite that, it's still a decent duel. It's the best Crystal Beast deck I've ever seen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Super Vicey Bell.
Thanks for watching.